What's poppin' YouTube? Funko Fanatic Tags back again, and I have an unboxing for you. Looks like it's from the Funko shop through the mail. This is actually through Funko HQ. So, uh, one of the uh, guys that becomes friends with through my uh, local Funko group on Facebook, and we become friends, and if I find something in store, if I'm able to get something online, I'll send it to him. Like, he sent me the uh, Metallic uh, Night King on Throne. I think I sent him the uh, Anakin um, from Walgreens. I sent him maybe the Boba Fett. I, I, I've got him. I helped him with a few. I sent him links like if something goes live or, uh, you know, we help each other out. It's, it's what makes the community awesome. Um, he was going to HQ. He went on this, like, awesome um, road trip, like uh, the Star Wars land and Disneyland. And he went up to Seattle and went to Funko HQ and everything like that. So it was really cool. He said, he put us in a group and said, Hey guys, I'm going to be at the HQ tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to send a bunch of pictures. Uh, and if you want anything, you know, call it out. Um, so I, it was really cool, the pictures he sent and everything. And I saw this in the one photo. And I said, oh, can I have that? And another person in the group also wanted it. But luckily he had his family there because it's only like one per, um, you know, pop. You can only get one of each kind. So I guess he had uh, one, you know, his brother, or whatever, to to buy another one, and I, maybe he got one too. So luckily he got it for me. Charged me retail. I think it was, I think it was ten bucks plus tax, and then shipping was like seven. Um, cause he, even though he's local, he's not local enough to meet up. Um, well, we could, but it's not convenient for either of us. So here it is. This is a surprise. They had this in the HQ. And I'm glad that he went because I can't get it from the original place it was from. This was originally an exclusive to a store that is currently out of business. Rumors that it's coming back. Toys R Us. Um, I'm sure he packed this nice because he's awesome. And obviously this is like vaulted. You can't get this no more. Um, anything like that. Oh, wow. So it had this protection, bubble wrapped in a uh, sorter box. Um, that awesome pack job. He's awesome. I went a bat in a bubble wrap bag. Cool. And in a sorter. Um, it is not Jaws Chief Brody. It's not Jaws Chief Brody. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So he included like a bonus thing. This Funko HQ sticker. Or, oh, wow. That is awesome. I did not pay for this. That is awesome. Funko HQ sticker. That's so nice. I really appreciate that. All right, here it is. Nice. It doesn't have the original sticker of the store because it's not exclusive to you know the, the Funko Shop, but this would have the Toys R Us sticker, and it is the Toys R Us exclusive Glow in the Dark Miguel with the Day of the Dead face mask paint job. So that is Miguel from Coco, Disney Pixar. Um. We're all excited to have this one. Like I said, it was Toys R Us exclusive. I didn't see the uh, 2018, it looks like. Um, the other two in the set were Ernesto and Hector. There's also a Chase Miguel unmasked. And then there's, I think, one that doesn't glow in the dark. The glow in this thing's amazing. I'm going to put this on my Instagram. And it's just going to be on my Instagram. I'm filming the video before I post it. But the post will probably be up before the video, the, this video uploads. So it'll be on there by the time you guys are watching this. The Coco Glow in the Dark Miguel. I do collect some Disney. The girlfriend does most of it. I do have a ton of Toy Story. I do have the Robin Hood set. Besides the uh, Toy Tokyo Prince John. I have the rest of them. I do have Cheshire Cat. The Hot Topic uh, Translucent. Uh, the Fading One. Because uh, he's Cheshire Cat's like my favorite Disney character. And I do have a lot of Lion King. Girlfriend, I would have Hercules. Girlfriend, collect the Hercules. And she does all the princesses and, and everything like that. Um, and she's going to be doing the up two-pack from uh, San Diego Comic-Con. 
But Coco, or Coco, Miguel from Coco, great Pixar movie, love Pixar. So guys, let me know what you think down below. Oh, and awesome, this was so nice of them, to throw in the, H, the Funko HQ sticker. That's, that, that's so cool. Um, I appreciate that. I do want to get to the HQ eventually. So guys, uh, let me know what you think. Do you have this Coco Miguel Pop? Um, if you were at the HQ, would you have picked it up if you saw it? Um, it's just cool to see a, a pop that I, I can't find anywhere else, and it definitely fits with some of my Disney Pops. I'll, and I'll put it right, right up here. So guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next hunt.